Hey everybody, it's Lissa here and welcome to my channel. I am back and I am so excited to be back. I did disappear for a little while. I went MIA and I apologize for that. Um, You can tell by the vo my voice throughout this video, I apologize. I did lose my voice for a little while. It's been going in and out. The, I took a break. It was a much needed break. My body was just like shutting down on me. I really just needed to rest and just take some time for myself you know mentally physically i was drained i was tired so i wasn't expecting to be gone for that long usually i post at least like once or twice a week i was gone for like a little over two weeks but i am back i am back i miss doing my nails i still have my nails on from my birthday set this is what these are looking like if you guys have not seen that video go check it out i'll link it um in a card for you guys but you guys was loving these birthday nails and i'm so happy that you guys love them but we're just gonna go ahead and go straight into doing this nail design this nail design is going to be part of a zodiac collection a lot of you guys mentioned you did want to see um, a zodiac collection from me a nail design series so that's what we're gonna be doing so this is part one which we are going to be doing a what is it? We're going to be doing a Capricorn themed nail design. Now Capricorns start from um, December 22nd to January 20th, if I'm not mistaken. I was trying to follow a, co a color chart for the zodiac signs, but there's so many different colors like i don't know like i don't know what is the correct one to follow so if you guys know what is the correct zodiac color chart to follow if there is an even if there is eve chart to follow just forward that to me because i kind of wanted to go with the theme so i kept seeing a lot of browns and grays for capricorn but i also saw some red so like i said i was super confused on what colors to go with i just decided i think i'm gonna do the brown and gray but yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started on this series. So if you guys want to see a Capricorn nail design, please keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, we're going to use my fake hand. This is the red iguana hand. I've already added my fake tips. These tips are on her website. Um, so you could go to the website and you could physically, you could just purchase these. And I don't do anything to the nails. I just take the tip itself and just shove it up into the cuticle and leave it as is. I got a couple questions on how do I keep these in and I don't have a problem with them slipping out. I know when I'm filing, if I'm filing, if I'm doing anything kind of movement of the nail, I do hold this top part because the nail does go all the way up in that cuticle section. So if I hold it and I start filing, this nail is not gonna go anywhere. If you are filing it and your nail is popping out or twisting to the side, you're probably either filing too hard or you're not holding the nail the finger properly which means if you're if this is your practice hand and if you was to do it on a real person you're gonna hurt that person <laughs> so you shouldn't you shouldn't have a problem with these nail beds staying in place so that's that so for this set i'm gonna go in i'm going to use my extra long square nail tips these are c curve i did get a couple questions on if the tips are c curved or not so we are updating the labels on the surface of these because we are receiving new tips pretty soon i'm super excited about that i'm gonna pre-measure them really quick and then i'm gonna glue them down with my rubber base gel so I did forget you need to go in and remove the shine from the nail plate so I'm going in with the 180 sand demand I'm using this at 5,000 rpm and I am just going to scuff over the surface really quick this is just to remove the shine to make sure you're removing any kind of oils from the nail bed this is going to help with lifting and to make sure your product sticks to your nail throughout the whole time you're wearing it you won't um, and they won't you know pop off it will just adhere properly so I'm making sure I'm going up into that cuticle going over the surface down the nail and just removing that shine So 
so as stated earlier i've already pre-measured my tips i'm gonna go in right now with my rubber base gel and i'm going to glue the um tips on now once again i did get a question about if i scuff up the surface the inner parts of the tip and i don't i just put a little bit of gel i um line the tip up and then i just glue it and it holds on perfectly fine for me it doesn't come off for anything another question that i got was if i prefer this gel over actual glue and i do i mean i think for me it's a it saves time it's quick it's one two three it cures super fast and i kind of feel like well i know for a fact it doesn't separate if you know with glue like regular air dry glue it tends to separate from the bottom sometimes like underneath and this doesn't happen with the gel so i prefer gluing it down with my rubber base gel versus using like the air dry glue so from here i am gonna go in and just cut it down a little bit um i just want it just a little bit shorter not too much just enough i don't want this long so from here, I'm going to go back in with my sanding band. Um, I have this right now at 7,000 RPM. And I'm just going to blend the tip into the nail plate. I'm not going to go over the surface of the tip itself. Because I think some of the nails I want to be, I want them to be clear. So as I say, I'm just going around the tip, blending it into the nail plate. From there, you're gonna go in with your dehydrator, and this is going to um, this is going to dissolve your nail plates. Dissolve your nail plates. It's going to dissolve any oils that may still be on your nail plate. <laughs> dissolve your nail plates. From there, I'm gonna go back in with my rubber base gel. I'm going to add a very thin layer, and I am also overlapping the tip just a little bit. I'm not gonna go down the full nail, just on the nail plate, and then over the tip. Once I do a thin layer to each nail, I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a full cure for 60 seconds. I'm gonna start off by going in with crystal clear once again this is a hard gel they do need to be filed off I'm gonna take my number six gel brush and I'm gonna start adding a layer to all of the nails oh and this is stiff it is cold in my house so we're gonna start off with the pinky oh it is so cold in my house Gonna go ahead i'm gonna cure that i'm actually gonna take out my poster warmer and i am going to put my gel on the warmer because it is extremely cold in my house and my gel is super stiff and i'm somebody who likes working with more of a thinner um gel do not i repeat do not put it in the microwave don't put it on your stove trying to heat it up i heard some crazy stuff that get a coaster warmer or get like a little hot bowl of water and like like sit it inside just make sure the water don't get inside the gel but don't put it in the microwave okay i just want to put that out there <laughs> so this is the coaster warmer that i have i did get this off of amazon so you can go ahead and check my amazon storefront for this it's so freaking cute isn't it but yeah, so this, all I do is I turn it on. Um, I kind of crank it up just to get it going and get it hot quick. It gets pretty hot pretty fast. But once I feel the heat, I turn it all the way down to its lowest setting. And then, you know, I sit the jar on the um, coaster and then I just wait. So, you know, a few seconds and then it starts to warm up. You can 
cure it so I do do one nail at a time I cure it and then um I move on to the next nail that just helps me like for this the fact that it's so cold in my house I could definitely get away with doing a couple of nails but it's just the habit to stop up and cure we don't need a club got our own proof coming at the same time yo now for the middle nail, I want to do, first of all, this is the color that I'm going to use. I'm going to, I am going, can't even talk. I'm going to use this lilac gray color from McCart. And also, I think I'm going to go in with the Nail Addict Celtic Sparkle. Um, So like I said, the colors that I kept seeing was like brown and gray. Um, but then I saw some red. Like I, I, I don't know. If you guys know the exact color chart of the, zo the zodiac symbols, let me know because I don't know which one I'm following. But for the nail plate, I wanted to do an extensive nail bed, and I wanted to create a build a gel of this color with this color. So I'm actually gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take some clear, and as you can see, this clear. It's still pretty thick, so it is still chilly in my household. Um, so I have my clear, and then I'm going to do some of this lilac gray color. And you can definitely go ahead, do your nail plate, and then paint on top. But I want to file the color in shape. To shape, I mean. Why feel like I can't talk today? I feel like I haven't did a video in so long. I don't know how to talk. So I'm going to take a couple of drops and just like plop it on. I think that should be enough. And then I'm going to mix the two. And I'm not going to mix it. I'm going to kind of like fold it into each other to create less bubbles. I'm still probably going to get bubbles, but it's okay. When we make it rain in our bedroom, bedroom. So this is the color we're gonna use. Pretty, right? So, bring all these little bad boys down. And I'm gonna scoop this up and apply this right here. I probably applied way too much, but it's okay. We can file it down if anything. Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to shape it. Oh, why did I apply the whole thing? I'm a da da da. You would normally do this in layers. Um, I don't know why I applied this whole thing to the nail right now. So it's gonna be hella sloppy. But we we gonna fix it. We gonna fix it. I'm crazy. You like that? Don't back down. No, you drop back. Keep it spicy. That's a fat fact. We on the right track, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna flip that really quick. So the uh, the polish kind of made the gel a little thinner. So as you can see, it was very loose. Um, I was able to get my smile line down, but I just put hella too much um gel on the nail like i don't know why i just plopped it on like that but we're trying to make it work i'm moving it around and i think we're gonna cure it right here because i could easily just file this right into shape on how i want it i just want to make sure i get the cuticles good Okay, so this is what it is looking like. Looking a little hurt, but we're going to file it and shape it up. So I'm going to go in right now with my nail cleanser. Um, and this is going to remove that sticky layer that's on the nails. We'll open it. That sticky layer that's on the nails um, once you've cured it. So I'm actually going to do it to all of them because I am going to file this one. 
and I don't want that dust to stick everywhere. Okay, so just like this, I'm just gonna go in. I'm using my 100 180 grit hand file and I'm going to start shaping the snail up to the best that I can because she looked a little hurt. When we make it rain in our bedroom, we don't tell us all what we're going to do. Dirty little secrets, keep it in the sheets with us. When we make it rain in our bedroom, bedroom. When we make it rain in our bedroom. Now that I got that shaped and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my polish. Put it on the palette. And I'm also going to take the brown. I think I want to take some white. I am not sure. I am winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing. So this may come out really pretty or it may come out really shitty. <laughs> so we're going to see. We're going to see. So <laughs> I cannot find my white. So I'm actually going to take this color, which is Sea Swing and Sun. And it's just like a light nude brown. I think that's going to go really well with the color scheme. And then I'm also going to go ahead. I'm going to go in with the Blooming Gel Polish. This one is by Mia Secret. Um, and I'm going to start off with the pointer. And I'm going to paint that all over the nail. And then I'm going to go in and start drawing squiggly lines. I'm not going to cure it. I'm going straight in. And I'm actually going to start off with the darker color first. I'm going to start at the middle, actually at the top corner. I'm just going to lay this thing on. I am trying to cover the nail plate. Um, I don't like the, the new, like the, what do you call it? The white color of it. So I am trying to cover it up. I'm just going to bring this color down until I'm happy with it. For the ring nail, I think I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to do the entire nail. So I'm going to just take that Blooming Gel Polish, paint the entire surface of the nail, and then um, I'm going to go in with those colors again, just trying to cover the entire nail. Now, if there's a little bit of clear, like, poking through, I'm more than satisfied with that. Um, I just want to make sure I am covering this portion of the nail fully because like I said I don't like how it looks it just looks weird to me I'm actually gonna go in and add um a little bit of gel right here i want to go in and add a little bit of foil just very little not not mm, let me not say little because i think i want to fully cover this top portion so i have this gold foil flake and i'm gonna pick some up and just place them right in those little grooves <music> I'm also going to add like some stuff to my nail right now. So I'm just going to add that to um, this nail. I think that'll look really cute. So I found these stickers um, and this is from Sets Nail Co. I actually forgot I had them, um, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm pretty sure this is the symbol for Capricorn, right? Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's this one. <laughs> And I'm going to place that on this little bottom, I want to say corner, and then I'm going to encapsulate. Now for this nail, I'm just leaving it as is because I'm going to go in and do some bling all over it. But I'm going to encapsulate and I'm going to use the clear for that. I'm looking for a good vibration Shiny so 
celebrate, but ain't no celebrations here. Tryna get paid, yeah. I don't got patience for real. Out in LA, in my age, got the patience. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go in, and y'all, she is looking rough. Oh, we're just gonna go in. We're gonna cleanse the nails, remove that sticky layer, and then we're gonna go into filing. I'm using my medium um, tapered drill bit, and I'm gonna go around. I'm actually using it right now at 19,000 RPM, and I'm going around the cuticle, down the body, and this is just me shaping it. Smoothing everything over, making sure there's no lumps, no bumps. I'm just gonna go over the surface for now and just puff it smooth really quick and then we're gonna go into bling so for the bling i'm gonna go in with my i'm not sure if i want to do the champagne crystals with like gold caviar beads or if i want to do like ab crystals um or just clear i'm not really sure i may mix it up hmm think i don't know we're gonna see but i do have some of the 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 bling um i also have this cute little charm that says capricorn i was thinking of putting that on this nail right down the center we're gonna see we're gonna play with it and i'm just gonna roll with it <laughs> i'm gonna start off with the middle nail i'm gonna go in with my bling it rhinestone gel and I'm gonna scoop some up and I'm actually gonna put it on the entire nail because, well, the entire top portion. Cause like I said, I'm not really sure what I wanna do. So we just gonna see. For this one, I'm just gonna go right up on that cuticle and just do a little bit of bling. For this one, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to add the Capricorn. I'm super excited about this and just place that right in the middle. I may add a little bit more to um, the cuticle, I'm not sure, but I know for a fact I want this one to be a Capricorn and then this one is going to be full blinged out. Told me I should leave. I see the bigger picture and it's way bigger than me. Can't be living like a king, but my people need to eat. If I got it, then you got it. We're gonna get back on our feet and I put it on me. I don't wanna live. A little Capricorn, super cute. All right, last nail. <laughs> So final step, I'm going to go in, I'm going to use my shiny no wipe top coat. Um, I'm going to top coat all of these sections as well as underneath the nail, especially on the ones that are clear. And then I'm going to do a full cure for 60 seconds. Waiting, patient, only thing that I've never been good at. No, no, chasing ways to have it to myself just like I should, yeah. 
and this is what she looks like i am super happy with how this set came out i think it came out really cute i kind of fouled a little bit on this bottom corner of the capricorn um logo but it's okay i think it came out really cute i'm loving the golds as well as the brown with a hint of gray let me know what you guys think of course everything that i've used in this set i'm going to link in the description box actually every single item that i did use is from my website at lgmpro.com so you can definitely go ahead over to the website and purchase what you need we are restocking very soon so bear with the, the blingit boxes um a couple of them are sold out right now but we are getting them back in stock so stay tuned for that if you leave your email on the website you'll be able to get notified on when we upload them or when we restock them but yes yeah, so that is it for this video. As always, thank you everyone for taking time out to watch this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media accounts. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.